Hi everyone, welcome back to the official Visual Studio YouTube channel. And we all know how important it is to make sure you can find exactly what you're looking for in your code. And for that, today we are taking a look at the code search feature, also known as the all-in-one search. I've invited Leah from the code search team to come and give us an overview, uh, talk a little bit about the filters, the scoping menu, and a couple other things within this feature. So be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all things Visual Studio. If you've used this feature before, give us any feedback, anything you like, anything you don't like, anything you really like in the comments. We'll be sure to take a look at each and every single one of them. And with all that being said, let's dive right into code search. So what I'm going to be showing you today is code search, which is a really good search tool in Visual Studio if you want to really quickly navigate to something in the code base. And the shortcut to open search is control T and that'll open up this code search window. And in this code search window, it's a real time experience. So as I'm typing something, it'll show me the results so I can edit the query as I like to make sure that I'm seeing what I need to get. So if I'm looking for say the add item to basket method, I can just start typing that name. You can see the results start to fill in and uh, the result that I'm looking at it for is maybe the second or third result here. Yeah, the third result here is the method for add item to basket. And the search box here is pretty flexible with the way you can type things. So there's a lot of different ways that you'll be able to get to the thing that you're looking for. So you can see that I typed just part of the name and that works. Or if I knew certain keywords in the name, it will be able to match them and try to find what I'm doing. So if I knew it was something about adding to the basket, I can look for that. And it matched those keywords, even though they aren't adjacent to each other. And it will also work if I didn't have these in the right order. Like I only remembered that there was ad related to it after I started typing. I can put that at the end of the query. It'll still be able to understand what I'm looking for and show me the relevant results in that way. Or if I knew the full name of this thing, but I'm a bit lazy to type it all out, I can also type the first letter of everything. So like Pascal casing, oh, if I typed A, I, T, B, it would also match to all the results that are related to this add item to basket and anything else that also matches this phrase. Next, I also wanted to talk about how it's really forgiving with typos. So if I was looking for add item basket, but oops, forgot the D there, it'll still be able to fill that in and match what I'm looking for without me having to go back and edit things to find that result. And another thing way to make sure that I'm getting the right results is to make sure I'm narrowing it down to the right types of results that I want to look at. So you can see that there is a bar of different filters at the top here that I can use. So if I knew that this was a method, then I can look at this members filter here, which as the tool sub says, it filters down to the class and type members of the solution. And I can click on that, or I could also uh, prefix my search query with the M colon to activate that filter and see that all the search results are now under members and I'm not getting any files, types, or text in the mix here. So just reducing the noise I'm getting, making sure I'm really getting to just the results I need and able to find what I need quicker. And another way to really quickly get to this experience, I don't need to open up to that blank search experience and then type in the colon or click the button. I can also use the keyboard shortcut that's been assigned to this, which is alt slash, as you can see in the tooltip here. I can show you that doing alt slash opens me directly to that and I can do that search again and see that we get the results from before. And then next thing I want to show you is the scoping menu, which is another way to let you narrow down the results to just the things that you need to see. This is something that we added in previews and will be coming to really soon. We currently have it so that to, everything is set to entire solution. So you're looking through your entire code base for things, but now you'll have the option to narrow it down to current project or current document. So if you're in the file where you know the method you're looking for is, then you could have members set to current documents, search for things in there. And uh, these scoping options are also saved for each of the different filters. So if you have a certain configuration like that you like, like uh, 
you always want to look for members in the current document, you can have it set in that way. And another thing that I'd like to show you, let me go back to entire solution there. I can use this preview, obviously, to see some additional context about the results I'm looking at. So maybe I have a bunch of methods called add item, and I don't know which one's the right one I want to look at. I can look at this preview to really easily differentiate these results and find the one that I'm actually looking for. And when I get to it, I can actually make more use of this preview without having to fully open the file if I don't need to do too much in it. And I can add comments. I can make some quick edits into a window here, or I can even use this more like a full editor. You can see I'm getting additional information from the tooltips when I hover over items. I can also right click and I have some of the full editor actions that I can do as well, like find all references and that will open up in the background and I can continue working as I like in here or go back to the search window and do things in that preview window if I'd like. And uh, that's a brief overview to get you started with code search. And that's it for this video. A massive shout out to the CoSearch team and to Leah for coming and showing us a little bit about the feature. Hopefully you can get started with all things code search after watching this video. We have a bunch of resources linked in the description. So be sure to take a look at those as well and let us know what you think. Again, any feedback, drop them in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.